What's up guys, Mobius N7 here with another motorcycle related video. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Shoei RF1400 helmet that I just got. I uh, picked it up from, picked it up off of uh, Revzilla. They were having a real nice deal where if you spend over $500, you get a nifty t-shirt and a $50 gift card. Plus you get $25 worth of Zilla cash for the base, I, the, for the helmet itself which I thought was a pretty good deal. So that's like, I got 75 bucks back. Um, so yeah, this is my first, I guess, big boy helmet. I mean, my, my uh, Scorpion is Snell rated, but this is a showy, <laughs> like an actual showy. I'm actually really excited. And after the unboxing, we're going to be installing the Cardio audio microphone kit, which will allow me to transfer my one uh, Freecom 4 Plus between all my helmets. I have this on all of my helmets, and I really, really like the Cardo. Um, I'm actually gonna pull the uh, I pull the 45 millimeter JBL speakers from one of my other helmets to put it in here, since this is going to be my main helmet from now on. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we have the Shoei uh, box for the RF1400. It's a very minimalistic design all around. All right, let's open her up. <clears throat> All right, in the box we have one of their Pinlock Evos, specifically for this helmet. After this little insert, you have a bag of stuff here. It's documentation, uh, and it looks like the chin, the chin curtain, and the. Uh, breath deflector, as well as some silicone oil. So we got the breath deflector here, silicone oil, or not oil, the breath deflector, chin guard, breath deflector. Uh, I got some stickers. Gonna put one on my toolbox and one on my PC case. Uh, these are the actual pin locks themselves with instructions. Here's the silicone oil. There. And this is for, I guess, applying to the gasket that goes around the faceplate. And then we have your typical documentation here. Documentation. <laughs> So let's get all this out of here, so we can oop, get to the main event. Here we go. Comes in a very nice little drawstring bag. Well, this is actually pretty light compared to some of the other helmets I have. All right, let's get the box out of the way, shall we? Isn't that a good looking helmet? Small, it's, it's has a pretty small like shell size. Uh, I've seen pictures of myself with my scorpion on and I just look like a bobblehead. Very nice looking helmet. So, Shoei RF14, I'm a size medium. Let's see, we got some cool features here, made in Japan. So we have one chin vent down here, and then a forehead vent up here, and then two upper vents here and here. And I got this, uh, most, of, most of my helmets are uh, matte colored, so I got this glossy black one. And I think it looks really nice. Look how shiny it is. RF1400, that's a Snell and DOT approved. Now that's a logo I don't want to cover up. And then we also have an integrated helmet latch system here. I got my Scorpion in order to lock the helmet close or the lid closed. There's like a little tab here that you push down on, but here it's on the front. Then 
Very nice. All right, now everyone's favorite part of getting a helmet, peeling off the film. That is one of the most satisfying things. Now, I don't think they're out yet, but um, I do want to get the transition face shield for this. Uh, just to try it out because I used to have transition glasses uh, and I don't really feel like I want to carry on an extra pair of sunglasses. Maybe an auto tinting face shield would be nice. Say what you will about you know built and Sedici helmets but I'm actually quite pleased with this one. This is a Sistema uh, 2 modular helmet and I got it because I wanted to try out what a modular helmet is like and the convenience of this thing is just amazing. It's even quieter than my Scorpion. And it's ECE rated. It's not too bad. As you can see, I've begun the process of putting labels all over it. And we got uh, who I think is uh, Usada Pekora. So yeah, uh, the reason this is here is we're going to pull out the 45 millimeter speakers that are in here in the ear pockets. We're gonna move them over to this bad boy. We have our Sistema up on our <clears throat> helmet donut thing. And now we're gonna go ahead and start pulling off pads so I can get to these speakers. So that's the first one over here. And then I do have to take out this, but not all the way. So yeah, like I said, I'm actually very uh, pleased with the Sedici helmet. It's my first modular. It's not too bad. It's pretty comfy. It's pretty quiet, like I said earlier. Mm. And, you know, it's modular, so it's really nice. Alright, so these are the 45mm JBL Cardo speakers, and uh, we're going to put these in the show -way. And here is the Cardo Freecom second helmet kit. It's everything you need except the unit itself. So, you know, you got your normal stuff in the box. You got documentation, installation guide, and then here's the system itself. So here's the base plate that the, <clears throat> the Freecom attaches to. Now this boom microphone, that's for uh, if you're going to put this in a modular helmet or in a three-quarter helmet. So I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using a wired microphone. Here we go. This is the wired microphone. And that's going to just be stuck right in front of my mouth inside the helmet. And I don't know if I want to use the clip-on cradle because, I don't know, it just doesn't, it, it's too low. Like when I, I've had it where uh, just looking left and right will activate that little jog wheel that's on the bottom. So I'm gonna use the, um, the adhesive pad to mount this to the helmet. Now depending on how much space there is, I may or may not to use these risers. So we'll see. And oh, here are the uh, original speakers. Uh, those are going to go in another helmet. My RF1400 is ready for installation, and I'm going to fast forward this because I want to listen to some music while I work. So, we'll leave the camera running, um, and I'll get back to normal speed when I'm done. Alright, installation begin!
just wanted to pop in post uh, installation. I just wanted to mention that even though it looks like I'm doing a lot here, I actually did make a mistake. Uh, there are ear pads in the Shoei helmet that you're supposed to remove and then in those recesses that the ear, uh, ear pads took up, that's where you put the speakers. So yeah, I put in some extra Velcro for no reason. Almost done with the installation. Uh, I got the two speakers up on each side. I have a microphone here. Now it does come with this little um, ridge thing here to hold the wire up against the side of the helmet like that. But I still have to mount a, a lav mic uh, right around here next to this microphone for my GoPro. But before I do that, I'm waiting on a. Uh, RF 1400 specific chin mount that'll go here and that's coming from Canada and I don't know when that's going to get here. Uh, yeah, just wanted to chime in with that little tidbit of knowledge. All right, let's finish this up. Speakers and mic in, cheek pads replaced. Next thing we have to do is put in the uh, breath deflector and the wind skirt. Uh, if I can find where I put them. <clears throat> and here's one, and here's the other. So, chin skirt, breath deflector, or as it says in the manual, a defogger. First up, we're going to do the breath, the defogger, and I think that's really just pop it into here. <clears throat> well, it's removable, so I can always adjust it. And finally, we have the cheek skirt or chin skirt. This one's just, I guess. Pop it in here and pop it in there, but let's be good and check the instructions.
kind of wish they had just done this in the factory, but you know. I don't want to damage it, so I'm not using a whole lot of force. So there we go. Looks like we got it. My kitted out Shoei RF 1400. Uh, if you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More videos on the way, motorcycles and music. Uh, deuces.